which probably has about 500 calories in it. Do you know what? Bite me. <laughs> Hello gorgeous, how are you doing? I'm in the gym in Florida. I know, right? So I'm actually here in the US, in Orlando. I haven't done my weekly um, in the car video blog because I've been kind of busy like flying to the other side of the, of the world, you know, as you do. I mean, just do a little video blog and get things started. It's it's early AM, it's just gone five o'clock in the morning. A busy day of theme parking ahead. We're off to Universal and we're doing Halloween Horror Nights tonight. So I need to get in early, get some training done, get some sweat on and um, just, just Look, there's a mirror there. I know I've been talking about showing a before and after. Let me see if I can get a wide shot, just so we can see. Let me see if I can turn the camera around here. So that's where I'm at. This is, I've got some abs and my, my bum is, is, is there. Hi bum. That's where I'm at in my leggings and gym gear. I'm quite happy with that, good progress. Then I'm doing shoulders. I better get started and I'll do a quick workout. If actually, this is probably a good time for a montage because we need a lot, everyone needs a montage. And then I'll talk about more, more about where I'm at. Okay. In case you're wondering why I'm not going fully up and fully down, it's because I'm trying to do a, um, I don't want to rest. So if, if your arms are completely locked out, it's like a rest, and if you come all the way down, it's a rest. So the idea is you're always keeping your muscles under tension. So you only come down to here, so you're always supporting them with your shoulders. And you only go up as far as about here, so you're still always supporting the weight with your shoulder. It makes it way harder after reps, but you get better results, so you know. Yay! <laughs> So a couple of things, just you can see on the full length shot here. A little bit of fat still here, I want to get rid of. Some still here, I want to get rid of. I'm not sure how much of that will go away. Sorry for the sound by the way, the mic is really... This is why we don't use shotguns as often as everybody does, because the sound is really echoey in a room like this. Um, but yeah, so these are my, my problem areas, which uh, hopefully some weight loss will get rid of these, but um, I suspect it's going to require a little more surgery. Such a short movement exercise, man, it gets you sweating. Heavy. These are weird little exercises. You take a very, very light weight, and then you just do pulses up to the side, to the centre, to the side, and down again. Ideally, you do it with music, but man, it burns after a few of these. So one of the problems with, um, it's a minor problem, but most hotel fitness centers generally only have quite a few cardio machines. A multi-gym like the one over my shoulder there, and a set of free weights, and they're usually just dumbbells, and maybe some um, kettlebells, but that's quite rare. So you have to be a little creative. So even though I've done the majority of my shoulder routine, I would normally do some cables at this point as well, or some steering wheels. Now we don't have the weights to do that, so instead I'm just going to do some biceps, which I don't often do. I'll use those as a finisher. And also, on like a holiday like this, where it's mostly theme parks with a lot of walking, I don't do much cardio in the gym because there's no point. You burn hundreds of calories just walking around the theme parks, so you can really focus on as much strength as you want in your morning workouts, but you're just going to make it creative. Just focus on key areas. To be fair, I'm already on 160 calories burned just from doing five movements so far. So, you know, you can get quite a lot done. I'll, I'll get 300 out of this one. It sets you up for the day and you've done something, right? So I'm going to do some biceps, because I don't often do bicep. It's a finishing one. And I'll probably do a little bit of a back pull as well, because they don't have an awful lot for a proper push-pull back routine here. So I'll just I'll, I'll spread it out over a few different sessions. I should do the trick. <sighs> Ooh, that's 285 calories, which isn't bad. And it's all, you know, isolation work, just working on shoulders, a little bit of back, a little bit of tricep. You just gotta be creative when you're on when you're in hotel gyms because they don't have an awful lot. If I show you around, you can see plenty of running machines, four, two cross trainers, a bike. That's all good. But the free weights, as you've seen, we've just got a multi gym with some legs and you know back and shoulders, a press machine which 
doesn't look particularly good, although I'll be using that tomorrow, I think. And a set of dumbbells. But it's enough to do something. It's enough to be, you know, you can't do your normal routine, but you just got to adapt and find out what works, you know? So, actually, I won't be doing bench tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm going to do a leg routine, bum and leg. I need to find a way to do two different leg machine, leg routines here. Okay, well, we've got a leg extension machine here. We've got the treadmills, or we could do some incline, some heavy incline on that, perhaps. And then maybe we could do some, some air squats, some walking lunges. We could do some Bulgarian split squats. So there's a few things we can do. It'd be nice if they had a straight bar so we could do some good mornings, but they don't. But let's see, let's see what tomorrow would bring. We'll talk about that again. Okay, I'm gonna get my towel and head out to the gym. So as you may recall, I'm usually at the DVC resort at the Polynesian, but today we're at the Wyndham because they didn't have availability at the Poly. And actually, it's the first time I've stayed in one of the downtown Disney uh, or the Disney Springs resorts. And you know what? It's actually really, really nice. Well, let me show you around. So this is the lobby. Well, it's fantastic. I mean, look, it's big, it's spacious, and it's really well uh, appointed. We have um, like a little lounge over here, some comfy seating areas for, well, you know, seating. We have a little bar and lounge area. It's closed at the moment because it's like early o'clock. Isn't that nice? Like a little bar area, the TV. Over here we have um, the, the main entrance with the parking and the valet. And we got a little coffee shop where they do some really, really good fresh bakery. Oh, I've got to show you these. Check out that. They're right good. The cinnamon swirl is amazing. Hi. And uh, let's see. Everyone's, everyone's just looking up. It's really good. And my favourite fridge of all. Red Bulls. Yes. So many Red Bulls. You can't get those on Disney property, which is great. Like salads and snacks and all sorts. So they get it all. And the coffee is fresh. And show you the fresh coffee happening. There you go. There's, there's fresh coffee happening right there. So it's great. Right, I'm gonna grab a quick Red Bull and head over to the lounge bit, and I'll chat some more in a sec. Okay. So long story short, I know I wasn't planning on being in Orlando um, this year, but here I am. <laughs> Surprise! Let me get a such a camera adjusted. And also, I have a. Um, because this is what you want. After you've burned 300 calories, you know, on a workout, because that's, that's, that's important, then you need to go and have a Danish pastry at the shop. And apparently this is a honey, honey cinnamon glaze swirl, which probably has about 500 calories in it. Do you know what? Bite me. <laughs> I'm on holiday and I really wanted this, so I'm having it. I'm on a little vacation, although it's more of a workcation because I'm doing work while I'm here. And we're also shooting some new video for Orlando Obsession for the new channel, which you've probably seen by now. So the, the plan is to do Disney Wine and Dine run weekend this year. We've got um, Halloween Horror Nights coming up. I'm taking the camera for that. I'm just going to do some, you know, general video blogging, which is nice. The, um, I gotta tell you, the, um, I mean, I need some of this first. Am I doing a mukbang now? Oh, that's so good. <laughs> that's really good. I even need one of these glazed honey buns. They're so good. Oh my gosh. I feel I should name this video Honey Buns and Shoulder Presses. <laughs> okay, so I gotta tell you this. I was um, on the plane flying over and then in these little pods. I'm sitting opposite me at um, like the other side of the, the cabin. There was somebody had a big bag of peanuts, like a dry bag of dry roast peanuts and they were like reading a book or something. We hadn't taken off yet, they were just like having a snack. And I didn't really pay any attention at the time. On the, the tannoy, on the announcement, one of the um, the air crew said that, um, or, you know, welcome aboard and everything. But um, we have a passenger on board who has a serious net down so please could everyone do everything you know possible to try to you know minimize the risk of them you know coming into contact with nets and this person sitting across the aisle from me just had this big bag of nets and she was like oh yeah nets and then she just looked at this announcement she just like looking at her nets and went, oh man <laughs> she looked so sad because she looked like she was really enjoying the nets and she was like oh <laughs> no more nets for you apparently Poor thing. So yeah, so nuts didn't happen on the flight, but they had, they had crisps. I also discovered duck scratchings are a thing, which are apparently like pork scratchings, but made of duck. They were delicious. I haven't, the last time I had a scratching, it was a pork scratching back in like 1981 or something, and it made me really ill because it was gross. But it turns out I actually quite like them. Well, certainly duck ones anyway, so surprise. 
Uh, let's see, so what else has been going on? My channel the releases have been slow, I'll be honest, across all the channels. I'm really sorry. I'm just so busy with work and everything else going on at the moment and traveling and things. It's really knocked my YouTube output for six and it's driving me nuts because I have so much content written and ready to roll with. I just can't get it out. So that's 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 frustrating. But it's coming. I promise, I promise. It's coming. Maybe it's good, maybe have a little, you know, a little uh, a reduction in output, maybe we'll keep everybody interested again. But I've got some really new shows, some new formats coming out, like a like a, a news summary type format and so much so much coming on which is exciting and I can't wait to get into it full time it's just I've got a lot of work on which you gotta pay the bills first right so that's happening now oh, we have a young child I'm going to be recording a few little shorter shows while I'm here in Orlando. I'm going to do a few workout videos because they're good. Uh, just, how, just how to be creative on your workouts while you're traveling. Obviously going to be recording a lot of video for the Orlando channel here while we're here. Loads of that is going to happen. And there it is. Um, normal service will be restored as soon as possible. The challenge is going to be how I create a creator answers video. Maybe that's the challenge. How to create creator content while you're on holiday. Oh my god, that channel is becoming so meta. <laughs> videos within videos who knows so that's pretty much it for this one thank you so much for watching apologies for the um sporadic releases in videos lately normal service will be restored soon i promise you as always please comment share subscribe like if you didn't like the video hit the dislike button it's all good love your engagement popping up over there is the last video i put out and below that is the one youtube thinks you should watch next sometimes it's the same one who knows thank you so much i shall see you in the very next show i love you guys bye